Today is October 8th, 2020. We're here with Dr. Stephen. Can we give you your last name as well? Um, well, let's just say Stephen Pan. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Um, Dr. Stephen is a high class healer, not a medical doctor, but um, close. Yeah. About as close as you get. And you did something mm, not great. Tell the viewer what you did. It was a scientific experiment. And um, uh, following along, along the lines of uh, anti-aging, I was uh, self-injecting dermal fillers, which I've been doing for about five years now. Um, and you put it, at, high hyaluronic acid, at, right here. I put the hyaluronic acid in, uh, in the antecubital fossa here, near... And uh, and I must have brushed uh, in retrograde as I was pulling the uh, needle out. Uh, probably the uh, the filler followed the the path of the needle, and uh, I was not using a cannula. You know, a cannula. I was using a needle. It probably retrograde followed it and picked up the the uh, uh, the current of the blood and pushing it down into the uh, into the brachial artery. Brachial artery, yeah. And then it, so it, uh, I can immediately see it. Saw my my uh, hand go white. And then, and then begun to get modeled. Your hand, now this is today, I'm, I'm gonna break this video. That was on August 20th, 27th. On incident. August 27th was the incident. I'm gonna break the video at this point so the viewer can see what you look like when you walked in the door. But this is what you look like today after a ton of ozone treatments. And uh, we did intra-arterial ozone on you last week and we're going to do it again today. Mm -hmm. um, I have to tell you as a physician, I thought you might lose most of your hand. I was really petrified. I can't. Uh, what, what are you? What are your thoughts on seeing the progress here? Well, all I can tell you is that I've been. I've had some incredibly difficult uh, accidents in my life, and I and I and I came out of them whole. Uh, I, I I it never really crossed my mind that I'd lose lose my hand. But the nurses were kind of like, you know, a little skeptical and they thought that I might lose my hand or at least at the very least my fingertips. Fingertips. So um, I guess, you know, I felt it was a challenge for me to just uh, do everything I possibly can. So I just want to I want viewers of this video to understand that my life has been managing this condition minute to minute, hour to hour, day to day and week to week. There is no rest and it only revolves around this. And I'm I count my, my uh, progress by um, pivot pivot points. And uh, the pivot point now is not seeing any raw um, uh, epithelial tissue showing. So I think we're on the right uh, we're on the right path. Thank you very much. I have your permission to post this. Yes. Thank you. Just got done your radial artery, and you were telling me what the vascular surgeon said about your hand. Yeah, it was late. It was a late late in the evening, maybe like uh, two o'clock in the morning in the morning. And uh, the report, the AR uh, doctor got the report from his uh, his uh, common, com, uh, comments with from the uh, vascular surgeon saying um, uh, that my uh, capillaries uh, will be uh, petrified. And, and so I said, what? And he said, they'll, they'll be petrified. And I said, I'm going to have to live with that? <laughs> well, that became my mission, mission in life is to make him wrong. And I think I'm on my way to doing that now. Open your hand. I, I'm just so jazzed. For the viewer, hyaluronic acid is a filler and it doesn't dissolve, maybe over weeks and months. And you plugged up your capillaries with this. And I had no idea how this was going to turn out. It's just, it's just a thick filler. Mm. Okay.